welcome to another vlogmas video from me lauren from lauren and the books david's putting his filming face on today is the q and the, the a part of our q and a i've just got really bad days oh, do you need to oh Sorry. is that a hair on my ear yeah it's connected it's not coming off ow can i try and get it now yeah long it is Come here, you there sex you machine! Um, today, no, we're not doing it in two parts. It's the oh. A part, it's in the answering part. We've already oh. asked for the questions, but um, this is the answering part. So, we um, we asked if you had any questions, Christmassy or otherwise, because I've not, not got this prepared. Um, and I've got the questions here. There was about about 26 there was 26 so some of them are sort of overlapping so if i see that happen twice then i'll just mm. we'll just do that so the first one twice. is I mean, we'll just do them in the order that they're written on yeah here, why, not? why not let's i'd love let's to hear cash. each of you share a favorite christmas memory from your childhood okay you go first okay well, um favorite christmas memory from my childhood this is difficult because no actually i won't answer because i've done a video talking about my childhood christmases All with right. my sister earlier this week i will link that down below we decorated a christmas cake um so i will link that down below but david what about you um so i've got seeing my sister cry oh, and like happy, t happy tears when she got Weirdly, a um a mannequin to do like fashion hair stuff stars and makeup. Like no, like an actual like body mannequin to do like dress designing. Who got that? Kelly did. <laughs> and I remember like she burst into tears and it was like so surreal. And also having a Christmas at my nan and granddad's. What when you were younger? When I was younger. And then what, being your really mum, your dad's your dad's parents. Yeah. yeah. And being really frightened that Father Christmas wasn't gonna know where I lived. Oh you stayed there? We stayed there and then so in the morning there wasn't anything there from what I can remember and I was really like I was like oh god and then dad bought all the presents round and then there was a note saying don't worry I knew you was here but my dad told me you was going to go and pick up the presents that's why I just took him to your house anyway so cute it was very cute I always so remember that cute. that was very cute yeah I've got I'm like I think we've got a question about presents later, we so have, right. I won't get to that. The next one is, how long have you been together? This is There's quite a lot of how long have you been together questions. So let's try and um, and answer those. So how long have we been together? This is our fifth Christmas our fifth together. Christmas together. Um, I only know that because a time hop came up the other day mm. um, of us. I just knew that. I'll put that little cute picture of us because yeah. we both look so young. So we'll be we? six years in February. We'll be six years together six in February. Oh, so yeah. I um, managed to keep me. Do you plan slash want to be married and or have children? Yes, we do plan slash want to be married to someone in our lives. Children, no. You don't think we want not, children? Can't say that that won't change, but at the minute we don't want children. We are very happy. That's something that we've been feeling for a long time, yeah. and I don't feel like... No, I if don't... If that does change, yeah. I'll be surprised. If it does change, I'll be surprised. Can't hand on heart say it won't change. But no, like, we're just, we're just happy as we are, aren't yeah. we? Yeah, and also, like, we want to be, we want to be married. We plan to be married yeah. at some point. Um... Obviously, like it's not. We've been together five years, and people are normally who've been together five years and lived together, I guess, are engaged by this mm -hmm. point. But it's it's just not been a priority. The thought of spending masses of money on a wedding makes me feel sick to the yeah. core. So if we did get married, it would be a very low key. Um, we do it in here. <laughs> just do it here on this video. Yeah. yeah oh no. Yeah. Um, so that's that. And there was another bit. Oh no. Then it says you guys seem like such a fun couple. Yeah. Thanks. We're so fun. Uh, the next one said. <laughs> My husband, oh, a lot of people were asking, you had a Griswold t-shirt on in the oh, announcement video. Loads of people were asking where that came from, either on the video or in the I, I think my sister got it for me from Hong Kong Disneyland. Oh, uh, coffee Because, pump. yeah, I'm afraid, yeah, so, because she bought me that, and then she bought me a, I think a book about it as well. And a place and, a, and a mug and a mug and yeah. a mug. Oh yeah, sorry, a mug and a placemat. Yeah. So I think it will come from the same thing. Lord. I will ask her when I see her later. So if if it is somewhere that's accessible, I will let Lauren know to put it in the comments. But yeah, I don't think it's uh, yeah. a very it's an available thing. I'm afraid. Um, the question with that though, that wasn't just a statement saying Ooh. he loves your t-shirt. It was, do we get new Christmas pajamas every year? And you know what? I haven't got new Christmas pajamas this, this year. None this there year. There was one year that we stayed at my mum's house for Christmas Eve. She got us new pajamas. Yeah. I had to force her to get you me a to, pair. Yeah, and you only got bottoms as well. Yeah. You didn't get a top. No. Um, Naked. But I would, we should do that really. If we see any today, we should buy ourselves a pair to wear yeah. Christmas Eve. Yeah, we'll have a we look in Sainsbury's. We'll have a look in Sainsbury's oh, and see if we can get some sell Christmas, Christmas pajamas. pajamas. I actually, I got some pajamas for Christ, uh, for my birthday off of your yeah. mum and dad, which are beautiful. They're like space themed, um, yeah. like galaxy themed. Yeah, we'll have a look today. Maybe we should But they're try. not Christmassy. But yeah, I should we should have bought do them that. ones from the Disney store. I regret not buying them now. Okay, so the question here is, what are or were your favourite childhood books? 
um, and mine was, um, I didn't own it, but it was the Jolly Christmas Postman, yeah, same here. which we now do yeah. own, um, and we've got a little tradition, we read that yeah, to we read each it. other on Christmas, Christmas Eve, Eve don't we? so um, yeah. David, one year David will read like the text, and I'll read the stuff that's in the um, in the cards, and the other year we'll yeah. swap it around. I think I'm the cards um, this year. And uh, what was your favourite childhood Christmas present? Oh God, like as... David's family go mad my, Yeah, my family Christmas. go crazy, so I've got a lot, like... I've had an air hockey table. Uh, you left it outside though, didn't you? We left it outside in February and it rained so it got ruined. What a waste. Quickly. What a sad waste. It was a lovely thing as well. But um, like pool table, bikes, a video camera I got like when it was, you had to put a VCR in it to record. You had to record straight onto the VCR. All right. That was a big, I used to Like in that. Home Alone? A bit like in Home Alone, yeah. And like my mates used to come around and uh, we used to film wrestling videos in the <laughs> front room when my mum and dad was out and then one year, Mum and Dad was looking like looking through phone videos, and they found a video. Oh my God! I got a f my dad phoned me up. This is when I was about seventeen. He just he just gave me such a bollocking over what the phone on? because like we was like like Wait. proper like smashing each other around on the I sofas. I can imagine your dad giving you a bollocking. Yeah, he always did shout at me. He What's that noise I can hear? Uh, watch oh, my, upstairs, upstairs watch watch machine. <laughs> right. But yeah, what about you? Oh, me. Uh, Favourite Christmas... Oh, God, I can't really remember. I remember getting bikes. I remember there being, like, excitement yeah. about getting bikes. Bikes. Books. I was always into books. I always used to get books. Something else I always remember. Charlotte and I always used to get a Friends video in our stocking. Nice. What because to watch. we used to wake up really early, like, and open our stockings, which are at the end That's of our beds. That's a good idea. And we always used to just watch, and then we'd have two Friends videos, so essentially four hours worth of yeah, stuff to watch. Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, so we always used to do that. Yeah, I like um, that. So yeah, uh, the next one is, happy Christmas to you both. Happy, happy Christmas. Christmas. Um, what is your favorite thing about Christmas? Um, I just think um, people's attitudes change. Yeah, and that is also, like I was gonna say, I think it's because people are at their best at Christmas. Yeah. But I, I, although that is my favorite thing about Christmas, I also do think, I wish it was different all year round, I wish people were yeah. more. Like I just, the, the postman's just come and dropped off a parcel and I've just given him a chocolate because I thought, oh, I bet she's got yeah. a really long hard day. And I thought, why didn't I do that the rest of the year? Yeah. And like things like that, I just feel like it makes me aware of things I should be, it makes me a better version yeah. of myself, I think. But I, I need to start pulling that through to the rest of the year. But also I just love like the, mm. the air, there's just a feeling, isn't, isn't there? It? It's just lovely. Um, and yeah, don't Just walk around with an oh, extra little kick in your step. We're winter thrivers anyway. Oh, yeah, we, we love much, it. much prefer yeah. winter. Um, so yeah, it's just like, sort of like cherry on the top of it the is, year. It's, it's a it's nice, nice build up for us. I don't even care when I get cold. Well, I mean, I do We've for We've both bit, got but... colds. We're so snotty and hot. Yeah. It's horrible. Right, what is your favourite decoration on your Christmas tree this year? Um, I think mine might be. I really like these. Oh, I'll take them off, but I need to put them back on. These are balls. Yeah, they're cool. Um, which have got sparkly bits inside. And then they've got our initials on the front. You can't really see. This is D. Um, these are from Marks and Spencer's. We've got a D, L, and an M of those. That's probably my favourite. But I also really like the pink dinosaur. Oh, he's going to have a Christmas Oh, we haven't eaten any of these. I know, we've been very... All right, good well, boy. Well, because we've had loads of... I oh, don't know where that came from. tell them. Tell them what... So, sorry, I should show you. So these are like the parcels, the chocolate parcels that you can put on the as tree decorations. Yeah. I can't believe I haven't even touched these because this is the best... Oh, part, like apart from Advent Canada chocolate, this is a good chocolate to eat. Could you get that off while I tell yeah, you what my mum did? So we used to have um, Chris, uh, chocolates on our Christmas tree when we were younger, and um, my mum wouldn't let us eat them uh, because they used to go in our um, they used to go in the stocking. So they just <laughs> used to sit there on the thing. And when I saw David, he went, oh, "Of course." Cool, and she'd count them. She'd count them. She would count them. Uh, this is also one of my favourites. Mm. Um, it's a rainbow glitter disco ball. Also associated with the fact that I've bloody loved Strictly so much this year. I've got Strictly, we filmed this on Saturday. And I've got actual either. Strictly withdrawal symptoms because there's no Strictly on tonight. So normally, like, mm. everyone's Instagram stories is all about Strictly Only and it's like all exciting. the candy canes. Yeah, the can we've got quite a lot of candy, candy canes, canes on there. Candy canes are quite sweet and I like the burger. It so yeah, so that's that. Done very well with the tree this year. Um, these are more more questions from Megan oh, Barton. Hi Barton. Megan. Um, she said her her questions are nice. really Christmas related. But one, how are you and David so stinking cute together? We just bring the best out of each other, don't we? Oh, I didn't expect an actual serious answer. We, we do. do. You're so sweet. There's nothing. Um, there's no, honestly, there is nothing more that I look forward to. Don't make me cry. Coming home and seeing Lauren. And I feel very sad when I'm not with Lauren. Oh, David! I do. I think I, I worry about life more when I'm not with you. You're so sweet. I do. Oh God, I'm gonna tear up. <laughs> right. Seriously, how did we meet? So we met. I love this story. At a pub. 
um, we met at a pub mm -hmm. uh, on my, it was my friend Emma's birthday and I had been out for, uh, we told this story many times on this channel, but I do yeah. enjoy it. I love, I like it's not it. a big special story. I just think it's, I just like finding out how people got together. Mm -hmm. um, so I had been out for a curry with my friend Emma for her birthday and I was going away the next day really early, like three or four o'clock in the morning with my parents. So um, it was back in the days when I drunk um, and we were, um, we came back out of the curry house and I dropped them off at the pub and they were like, come in for a drink, come in for a drink. And I was like, I'm not going on holiday tomorrow morning, I'm not going. And I parked up and I was like, I'll go in for one. And then when we got in, when we went to the bar, there was a CCTV camera behind the the, the, um, mm. the, the bar. And my friends, Emily and Jenny, had previously mentioned David and said, oh, you'd really like him. He loves Christmas. He loves Disney. You'd be really, really into him. And like, our paths are just never crossed. No, I feel like I've is, seen you once, yeah. like in Sainsbury's yeah. or something. And in life with, uh, oh, yeah, with seen him, drawings yeah. all over In our local it. nightclub with stupid drawings all over his face. So I feel like I, I definitely had never been introduced to you and no. I had never spoken to you, but I, I definitely knew who you were. <laughs> um, and Jenny and Emily, Everyone did. <sighs> Jenny and Emily were like pointing at the camera behind the bar saying, oh, look who's in here, look who's in here. And old um, mate was in there. Anyway, you came to the bar while we were waiting at the bar and spoke, because you, you you very loosely knew Emily and Jenny, didn't you? Yeah, I'd say I knew them quite well. Yeah, <laughs> quite well. Ish. Yeah. You'd seen them out before. Um, we and mixed in the same sort of circle. David was, uh, that was when David used to wear, uh, he used to dress like a Top Gear presenter. So he used to wear like light blue denim jeans, yeah, pointy shoes. There was dark blue. Um, pointy shoes, a shirt pointy. and a blazer. Very yeah. sexy. And that particular night, he had a little button undone on his top, and Jenny was like, oh, what's this button you've got undone on your top? And you come over and you're talking to us, and I introduced myself, and we were just chatting, and then we went outside, um, and we just we just spoke to each other all night. I like, was drunk. David was very, very drunk. I was not. Um, and then we just stood outside talking. But I managed to obviously keep you in conversation, because we was there for like, probably a good couple of hours. Yeah, so I was we? only popping in, literally, for like 20 minutes. Then you and I were just talking outside for ages, and then... Um, I think there was like talks of like my friends were going to life or you, you were going on uh, life is the crap night, nightclub where, near where you live um, and I um, I was like alright then I'll see you later it's nice to meet you bye, bye 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 and I said to Emily and Jenny I'm going there and I was like oh, I really feel like I should have gone I really feel like I should have got his number. I'm just going to go back and ask him. Mm. So I went back and found you and I was like, hiya. Um, I was just wondering if you wanted my, if we could exchange numbers. Imagine if I hadn't done that. I don't know. I, I think we still would have found each other because of like Facebook and stuff. So yeah, so I went back and asked, so then David took my number, didn't remember my name. name, didn't remember Forgot my name. name, but I was so, honest, yeah. so that was good. Um, so, <laughs> didn't remember my name, yeah. um, and then... And it was on, wasn't it, really? It was on, so then, so apart from as like, I said, your week I went away for a week um, with my parents the next day, but we like text the whole week, didn't we? Mm -hmm. I, was really, I remember being really excited and being like, mm. Mm. Um, and yeah, it was just mm. on. I had, to, I had to let down all my other ladies first before... Uh, <laughs> So yeah, so yeah, and it was literally like there was no, so that's like, like, we there met was on... no mucking around, but no like seeing each other like are oh, we, aren't we? It was just. I feel like the on, day, the day, yeah, the day I got back from yeah. France, and um, I went out and we we had our first kiss that night, didn't we? Smooching. We had a little smooch in that awful nightclub we had been back there since. We didn't need to go back after, did we? Because we found each no, other. We got each other. Um, so yeah, that we had our first yeah. kiss like a week later. Yep, yeah, and that was it. It was just full and on. And then it was just on, wasn't yeah. it? Just yeah. just on. It was you lovely. came round and we watched Casino Royale. And you said that's when you thought you loved. And that's me. when I thought I loved you. And. <laughs> You was, you was laying on the bed and I was pretending you was my patient. I wasn't, I wasn't laying there. on the bed, I'm not a floozy. No, no, so you sitting, you're sitting on, the on the bed and we was just being silly. And then, yeah, yeah. I just felt, it just felt right from there, didn't That's it? That's all the secrets out there. That's every single detail of our relationship. Um, and she also, Megan also says, how has your reading gone this year? Yeah, how many books have oh, you read this year? Oh, rubbish, guys. I've had a really, really shit year, I'm afraid. And reading. I do apologise. Absolutely shocking. He's been reading My Name is Leon yeah. since the summer. Awful. Yeah, I'm just a lot more tired this year. He needs to get into it. Yeah. Uh, Chloe says, if you had to spend Christmas in another country, where would it be? Um, well, two places, but only because of what I would do oh, in those places. No. Oh. Which is, oh no, actually, um, yeah, so uh, Disneyland Paris or uh, Florida, I'd like to I'd Would like you to honestly like to be somewhere where it's hot at Christmas? I'd like, um, not necessarily, but I'd like to be at Disney at Christmas. Yeah, I would. So you know, give or if take. If I had to pick somewhere, thing. it would be somewhere with a similar climes to this. I or spent, like a, a Nordic. Yeah, so I've spent Christmas. New Year in Ireland before that on would, a couple of occasions, um, and that's really fun because like everyone, it's just it. Look, 
I mean, I've only been to one place for New Year, but it was always very festive and everyone's decorated beautifully. And yeah. Everyone's really friendly and everyone's back in Ireland. Well, the particular part I, I visit, there's not many young people there all year because they're all living in Australia and the UK and America yeah. and stuff. Everyone's back for Christmas. So there's a good vibe there. So I would probably pick Ireland. Um, so K Max says, I love your vlogmas videos. I'd like to know if you um, save for Christmas throughout the year and do you budget? So I do. Um, one thing that we do in terms of Christmas decorations is that uh, there's a loyalty scheme with Sainsbury's. Um, <laughs> that makes it sound much more grand than it is. But the, the supermarket we shop at, Sainsbury's, uh, they've got something called a nectar card where you collect points throughout the year. Um, sometimes you get bonus points. Sometimes it's like 100 like, extra yeah. points if you buy this or triple point weekend yeah. or something so like that. So you might get a little we, voucher where you buy, if you like, buy two pastas, get an extra 50 points yeah. and things like so that. So we save those points up throughout the year and then mm. my points go on Christmas tree decorations and David's points go on sweetie table sweetie decorations. Table, yeah. So that's one way we do. Um, also, I put away a little bit of money every single month which goes into a sort of account where I buy, um, that's normally like my ticket, if I'm buying tickets to go somewhere, mm. um, I buy that and then at Christmas that becomes mine. Yeah. And also, I'm obviously gonna... I'm not buying tickets all the time. So that becomes my sort of like Christmas yeah, pot. I'm gonna do that um, next year. I'm gonna and make something sure I did I... start doing, but I totally forgot, and I needed to set up a um, a, a uh, but what's it called? An account. No, when something transfers money. Savings. No, what's that actual called? Oh, Direct a debit. A standing order. Standing order. I need to set up a standing order to do it because what I wanted to do is when it got to like September, I was going to save ten pound a week, and then in October I was going to do fifteen pound a week, and then in November I was going to do twenty pound a week. But I forgot. I did it up until October, but I forgot. So yeah, I do. I do budget. However, I still like end up going mad at Christmas yeah. as well. No, we we do save in terms of a budget. We didn't even discuss budget this year. No, but we, we kind of know. We normally spend like we normally say around like a hundred, hundred and fifty, but. I mean, I always go over it. Well, last year, David got me this camera that we're filming on, and that certainly wasn't between 100 and 150. No. Naughty boy, but very much appreciated all the same. Um, here we go. Curly Book says, Do you have a favourite game you play with friends and family during this time of the year? Board game, card game, etc. David's a very big fan of Phase 10, yep, which is a card favorite. game. I love it. Um, which is by the makers of Uno. Um, mm -hmm. It's very good, and it's also quite chill as well, which is nice, yeah. and it's quite long. So and I also, although I'm not particularly very good at it, I really like Bananagrams. Yeah, banana I like grams banana grams. Nice. Because like, when you associate Christmas and games, you associate like loud. David's family love a loud game. Which right? I, I, I do. I game. don't mind a loud game, but so, but so when you can sit there and play a game like Phase Ten and Banana Grams, it's just nice and quiet, and yeah. you can just kind of have a little chat. And I just, I, I kind of like that a bit more nowadays. Yeah. Like when I was a kid, I used to love like all the loud stuff and like doing chatting at Pictionary and doing Rapido and... Another one I've got, oh, two new games I've got actually. Keep talking while I just go and get them because they... I don't mind these. So two games I've got this year which I'm quite looking forward to playing. We've, we've played them both like not properly. Uh, the first one is Holiday Flux. Um, so Flux is a game that we discovered... Was it last year? No, it's earlier this year. Earlier this uh, my year. friend Alex has a very similar taste in games to me. This is a card game where the rules change every single game you play. So it's yeah. quite complex. And I feel like the most enjoyment I get out of it is when we're playing with people who understand what to do. Yeah. Um, you're not as mad on it. But when you played it with Emma that time, you did enjoy playing it. Oh, yeah, I don't just yeah. like it. I just, yeah, so that's Holiday Flux. Bit... And that's Christmas. That's Christmas <laughs> I think that is that is one of the worst things I hate about games. What, playing with people is that when, don't know? Yeah, when you're playing with people, when, when you don't know it, and when you play with people who don't know it, and you have to, and like, oh, I don't understand. And then it always ends up being, so no matter how many times you explain the rules, it's always like, let's just play. Let's just play and do it as we go along. And that's always the what The other happens. one I've got is Santa Banter, which I got earlier this year from Love Ryan and Amy. Um, they, this is like um, a Barma Lama. If you ever played a Barma Lama, it's like a rhyming game. Let's play one right now. Oh, sugar. Okay, so... I thought I almost went off screen then. It's Christmas related things. Okay. Okay, so these are all about Noddy Holder. Okay. So he is not warm. Noddy Holder's getting colder. Yes. Um, he is um, getting something off of his um, part of his body which is attached to his Noddy neck. Holder's tape removing something from his shoulder. No, but he's using it like a like you would do... With brushing. His, yes. He's brushing off his shoulder. Yeah. So that's that game. What is your favourite item of Christmas clothing that each of you wore this year? I really like this shirt, but you just told me you're not that mad on it. So I this feel, is like I'm, feeling, I'm feeling better with it now that I've cooled down. Oh, right. But yeah, you can see like... Father, Marks and Spencers. Like Father Christmas in a turban, in his shorts. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, I feel better in it now that I've cooled I down. Got, well, I've just realised we have matched today. I'm wearing well, that. Yeah, that's a bit lucky, isn't it? Um, 
I, one of my favourite things I've been wearing, I've got two favourite t-shirts, one is from, both from ASOS, one from this year, one from last year, um, one says Merry Christmas, and it's got like a, it's white, and it's got a green and red shoulder, and it says Merry Christmas on it, and the other one is a black t-shirt which says Festive AF, and it's got like dancing skeletons with um, hats on, I've been very much mm. enjoying, I enjoy a Christmas t-shirt, they're not out there very often, so I do, no, I do love to not like them decent out. quality ones at um, least, anyway. Okay, this is quite a good question. If for whatever reason you had to pair your tr Christmas traditions down to a single one, what would it be? I know what mine would be. Mine would definitely be the tree. I couldn't, I couldn't do with that. I could no, do no. without everything yeah. else, but I couldn't do oh, without Oh yeah, like, as much as I invest in my sweet table, I could live without yeah. it. Yeah, the tree, the tree. would definitely I've, be. I've got to have a tree. Yeah. Right. Two questions. Have you ever seen the Henson film, Emma Otter's Jug Band Christmas? Never seen it, never heard never of it. Never heard of it. And it also says, David, if someone wanted to hire you to be St Nick, would you do it? I think you'd be fabulous at it. Granted, you'd be a very young St Nick, but fabulous. And handsome, day. you forgot to Young and handsome. Um, yeah, I'd do it. So cool. just let me know how much and when, and when. <laughs> so someone here, Cinnamon Harris says, I'm really enjoying your vlogmas. Thanks, babes. Uh, Lauren, do you ever feel that you spend too much time reading? I never do feel like that. Do you feel like I spend too no, much time reading? No, not at all. No, I, I, I love, I, I love you reading because that's what you love to do. Oh, David, you're just being so sweet in this. Um, I don't feel like I spend too much time reading. No, I, I spend a lot of time reading. Yeah. I don't know if I'd ever feel like I spend too much time reading. It's something I, I get pleasure out of it. Like yeah. I say, I don't watch telly, but I tell you, this December is the most telly I've ever watched in my life. <laughs> Strictly every Strictly single night. The Apprentice. The Apprentice. Um, I'm a celebrity yeah. every single night. We've, yeah, I've never we've watched so much. So my, my reading hasn't been great. Year. But even when I'm like driving places, I listen to audio books. I just mm -hmm. read constantly. So yeah. I. I feel like if I'd have ever thought I was reading too much, it would have happened before now, but I never yeah. feel like no, that. No, it's never even crossed my mind that I no. think you read too much. Um, question. Describe your ideal Christmassy day of eating. Not necessarily the food of the big day itself, but whatever snacks and treats you like to have throughout oh, the month. Oh, God, just So I'd probably start with like some sort of like egg-based breakfast to, to sort of line my tummy. Also, we've got no Secco this year, which is Prosecco yeah, yeah, yeah. without alcohol, and we're going to have that, that with orange soup. juice. Um, so yeah. we've got like fake Bucks Fizz Love in the morning, so that's exciting. Um, then I would have... But I, I do enjoy... Like, it'd probably be quite standard, like non-boring. I do... I never used to like the roast dinner, but now I really do. It's because I love roast potatoes potatoes and I'd have like some sort of nut rose probably that oh god your mum made me a chestnut she crumble last year which was nice. absolutely amazing I'm assuming she might be oh no she's actually something different don't she well we're not there on Christmas day this year no but we'll be there boxing oh yeah, 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 so, pinky bits. yeah and then in the evening cheese which I know David loves no I don't even like joking about it you don't even like joking about no. it it's, it's right. a very bitter moment in my life. <laughs> Teresa Robinson says, as it seems you have a full-time job, which I do. Um, oh, someone else has asked what we do for jobs. Uh, what do you do for jobs? Uh, so I work for Cancer Research uh, up in the city uh, as an audiovisual technician. So I go around setting up events for like charity fundraisers and things like that. And we just help main, like, man the offices in, um, in London where they have like big meetings and stuff like that. So we kind of just look after everyone in regards of technology. Very good. That was very succinct and very well thought out. Someone asked you that recently? No. Oh, that was that was like you had that prepared. No. Um, I am a pathway coordinator in the um, NHS, um, uh, uh, looking after um, a team of diabetes consultants and junior doctors and nurses and um, admin staff and things like that. Um, yeah, working with the NHS. That's what I do. There are there are jobs. Um, how do you manage to film and edit all your regular videos, let alone vlogmas? I don't know how she does it. It's I don't amazing. Know it. Um, yeah, it you've takes up a lot, lot of time. You've had it a lot really of late does. nights this month, haven't this you, month, unfortunately? This month, I could probably count on two fingers how many times I've been to bed before midnight. Once? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so it's a lot when, when it's during the when it's normal I do three videos a week yeah um, and that's a bit better because I, I have um, I work a, a nine day fortnight so I, I work um, condensed hours so every other Thursday I'm off um, and then every Thursday if that that Thursday that I'm not off I have Thursday yeah. afternoons off so I am um, I always film two videos on those days whatever happens mm. um, and then I often film at the weekends and things like that but yeah sometimes it I mean it is it is hard to fit it all in because David and I have quite an active sort of social life not so yeah. much going out but like we have people for dinner and we go to people for yeah. dinner we see a lot of my sister and yeah. things like that so um it is 
yeah, I do fit a lot in. Yeah, she I does. really she does do. Very well. Yeah. She does very, very well, don't you? Thanks, I do. So yeah, but Vlogmas has just been Yeah. I've I've taken a few long weekends off throughout the month and like just before November to get everything sorted and I was really well planned for this year, but yeah, you yeah, have it been. is you, as it's really we were talking tiring. about earlier and this is the best Anyone, this is the I most planned you've been this yeah, year. I only do like a vlog um, that goes up on a Sunday of the week. These people who do daily vlogging, it's, yeah, that, that I is some absolutely commitment. salute you because it is exhausting. I'm just thinking absolutely of content exhausting. every yeah. day, just wow. Amazing. Oh, this is sweet. Listen to this. Joanne Teal, she says, not a question but a comment. The two of you have found something very special indeed. Love and support and caring. Hugs to you both. Thank you, Joanne. That's so cute. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Um, Merry Christmas. Oh, someone says here, which I wanted to answer because this is, um, I've, I've got it on now. What's your favourite lipstick to wear during the Christmas time? Chocolate. Uh, <laughs> For me? Chocolate, chocolate all over my lips and in my beard. All over my moustache. Yeah. Um, this is from Superdrug B. It's called Tainted and it's lovely. It goes really well with this top that I've got on today. So I'm I don't excited. like questions where I'm not involved, guys. Okay, this is the last <laughs> question and this is involving you. Yes. What was your favourite item you've received so far this month in your advent calendar? Oh, Christmasaurus all day long. You just want to grab it. Oh, oh sorry, bud. Christmasaurus, but you're also very fond of that popcorn I gave you. Oh, the popcorn. Ah, is good fun. Sure. A lot of yeah. people were like, find guys. someone. People have commented in the comment. People have commented in the comments saying, find someone who looks at you the way David <laughs> looks at his popcorn, and he was absolutely mesmerised by it. It was cool. Um, it was good fun. And well, what is your favourite chocolate or candy from your sweet table? Uh, I, even though I haven't eaten it yet, the Toblerone. I'm oh, kind of saving that. Toblerone. I'm going to save that for maybe when we have our own um, Christmas day together. Oh yeah. So yeah. that's it from us. That's it. This is the last time you will see yeah. us. Um, speaking, Talking. Speaking, no, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. So the next three days, um, just in case you weren't here last year, I do a little sort of um, montage video of Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Um, do some banging music. I've picked some, I've picked songs already. I'm excited about the yeah, songs. Yeah, you should go back and watch them. Yeah, go back and watch last year's because they're really good. I will link them down below. Good, like Christmassy. Yeah, build you'll feel Christmassy. Yeah, they're you all lovely. Um, but thank you so much to everyone who has watched Vlogmas this year. If has you it she done well? Has it if done you commented well? or um, liked the video or shared the video or just just watch them, I'm just so so grateful. I couldn't, I wouldn't be doing this channel if it weren't for you guys. You guys are the reason I do this whole thing, um, and I've absolutely loved it, and it's been brilliant. I'm looking forward to a break um, <laughs> because it's been really tiring. So I will not be back now until the first of January um, after the Christmas period Boo. <laughs> Boo. i'm looking forward to just not we having to, to, to think about what videos <laughs> yeah. and stuff so um yeah thank you so so much for joining in of and just being there i've really really loved every moment of it um and yeah i'm gonna go and sit in a darkened room now for a week <laughs> and i'll see you all again in merry, 2019 merry, merry christmas, christmas everyone <laughs>